win the award for us tonight. But I'd like to introduce him. And um, Dr. Bose was selected as one of the leading physicians of the world by the International Association of Healthcare Professionals. He's also been selected as one of America's healthcare leaders. He is the medical director for the city of Odessa, along with uh, Dr. Gregory Shipkey. Uh, Dr. Gregory Shipkey, excuse me there. He, uh, Dr. Bose is also an Iraq War veteran. He was a former major in the U.S. Army. He uh, got an award recognized as a CNN hero for serving as a, a U.S. physician who treated Saddam Hussein after his capture. Uh, Dr. Bose was also awarded the Bronze Star for serving one of the longest combat tours by physicians since World War II. He served as one of the sole frontline physicians in the Second Battle of Fallujah. Um, he was also the founder of the BattleContinues.org, which is a nonprofit charity. He's one of America's most experienced doctors on mass casualty, uh, disaster care, and PTSD. He's also a renowned speaker, international keynote speaker. Uh, he, uh, uh, all of his speaking things go to benefit injured veterans. Uh, Dr. Bose also co-hosts a weekly health segment, segment on the CBS News as well as a contributor to local and national media outlets. He's a featured physician on uh, the reality TV show, The Untold Stories of the ER, a guest consultant for the Dr. Oz Show. He's a spokesperson for the American College of Emergency Physicians. He's the founder of KeepYourInnerArmyStrong.com. He's also a professor, an associate clinical professor of emergency medicine at the University of Illinois College of Emergency Medicine. He has trained emergency medicine residency programs to score number one in the nation on uh, in training exams. He, and he also trains thousands of physicians through his preparedness courses on the standard of care and providing expert care. He's recognized as the ACEP hero of the last 40 years. And he's also the author of uh, several books. And, uh, it's right now my distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Sudeep Bose, our medical director for the city of Odessa. job. It's always an honor to address fellow first responders. And, you know, I think as first responders, we, we're just wired differently. We're, we're hardwired completely differently. I mean, back in the days of saber-toothed tigers, we would get the impulse that danger is coming, that impulse would go to our brain, and special parts of the brain, the amygdala, would process that. And then after that, we have this cascade of events that go on. We have, you know, a pituitary gland that secretes all these hormones and tells us, you know, danger, saber tooth tiger, fight, flight, or freeze. And that's a normal reaction. So how are we different that when we get to the scene of us, war, disaster, danger, that we run toward it. We don't run from it, we run toward it. When we get to the scene of bleeding, where most people may pass out, we run toward that too. And we take care of those victims. So how are we different? Why don't we fight or fight? Why do we go toward it? And it's because we're hardwired this way that you guys can save lives on the front lines. But we must remember that first and foremost, we are human. 
We are hardwired the same way as every other human. And the way we're hardwired to run toward these scenes, that same humanity, that same hardwiring, makes us vulnerable. It makes us vulnerable mentally. If you look statistically at it, mental health, traumas within professions, first responders are at the highest risk. And we aren't immune to this. Sadly, our community was affected. And as we take a moment to honor Division Captain Hugh Koenig, I'd like to take a moment of silence. And I have a simple message to honor him and to honor his family. Please listen to my message. Please is a simple mnemonic that I want you guys to remember. Because we are family and we have to please each other. The P and the L is for physical illness. We always run to the scene of physical illness. We take care of others. But do we take care of ourselves? And the onus is on us to take care of ourselves, our family, our loved ones who join us today. E is eating. Now, I've had the distinct honor of going to several stations and eating with them. So eating does not mean overeating. Eating does not mean under-eating, it's eating healthy, taking care of your body. And I had a great time going to these stations, but again, we have to remember that our community is not immune. We are also vulnerable. We too have issues. I mean, he couldn't even hold a cheeseburger right side up. <laughs> the A is altering drugs, alcohol. And often when there's stress, first responders turn to alcohol. And unfortunately, maybe other substances. And we have to remember that if we have prescription meds, it's important to take those as well. Because again, we are human. Our bodies function like everyone else. And sometimes these illicit drugs and alcohol can lead to sketchy situations. <laughs> Sleep. Now, I don't need to tell you guys about this. 24 hour shifts, sometimes longer. So remember to take care of yourself, rest, so you can be the happy, <laughs> cheerful, smiling people we always are on shift. And finally, E is exercise. And everyone here is in great shape. You know, you're fighting fires, you're lifting heavy weights, you're doing your regular physical fitness. I had the honor to go to Station 2. Now, Station 2, who here is from Station 2? Anyone? Anyone? All right, so you guys are located near the gym, and you guys were very kind to take me there. So I'm like, okay, this will be a normal trip to the gym, normal bunch of guys. But again, we have to remember, this started as a normal workout, but our community is also maybe vulnerable, and we too have issues we have to address. Because yes, we can get PTS. First of all, post-traumatic stress, I think it's good you took out the D, because it's not a disorder, it's how we're hardwired. It's that same fight-flight response that just the switch is turned on, and you can't turn it off. So it's not really a disorder. So it started out, you know, as a workout, made me realize that, man, we have issues. If we don't get PTSD from trauma, we're gonna get it from seeing that. I mean, we do not need to see that, or that, or that, okay? Unnecessary. So, simple, quick message, guys. I mean, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other. You know, I'm honored to have you guys here as family. Now we go on to the award. And I think the reason that we run toward the trauma, we run toward the 
bleeding is because of our training. Just like a pilot, when the plane is going down, the pilot who's trained can think and not panic and not succumb to the fight flight cascade of hormones that our adrenal glands are secreting. And we can realize that, hey, that pilot can be like, I need to do step one, two, three. And he can save that flight. So similarly, training is important in what you do. Nobody here passes out when they see blood. Nobody here gets grossed out. They run towards it. They run toward the officers who are down. So training is an important part of this. So our medical director award goes to someone who is being recognized for his job knowledge and his willingness to learn and to grow, for his pride in his work. And he works relentlessly. He helps other paramedics, especially the new ones. He has integrity to do what's right, regardless of the consequences. And he's an example for others. So today's award I'm honored to present because he's joined by his wife, Hillary, and his daughter, Kesslyn. Come on up. Our medical director award goes to firefighter paramedic at Central A shift, Kellen Foreman. Now it's usually a tradition that we, you know, Dr. Shipke and I give a $200 gift certificate to whoever wins this award. So as we're shopping for this gift certificate, I'm like, you know, I don't know what he wants. I mean, you know, we used to give it to Albertsons. I'm like, is he an Albertsons guy? Is he a Target guy? I don't know, maybe he's a Bed Bath & Beyond guy, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I found a couple gift certificates that are accepted everywhere. They have uh, Benjamin Franklin's face on it. <laughs> Get a couple of these. Come on up. This is your uh, <laughs> gift certificate. Use it how you may. But remember the A and please stands for alcohol. So you can't use it on that, okay? Congratulations. Thank you for everything you guys do. It's an honor working with you guys.